Good day, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, Nations Voice Tower. I still remain your usual anchor. Something is unfolding in the political scene, and I would like to draw the minds of all Nigerians to this particular um, mysterious occurrence that is trying to unfold um, with a, through a gradual process. What am I trying to say? I have a trending video for you from Arise News, of course, by the um, never relenting Hosseini Rufai, one of the prominent presenters of Arise News. Yes, he came out to um, talk of the reason why President Buhari made a statement earlier today about um, the credibility of the elections. And what President Muhammadu Buhari said about the elections was very, very interesting. I was shocked to hear that. And then, seriously, I am really uh, perplexed, very, very confused up to now on the reason why um, everybody is pointing, accusing fingers at INEC. And I'm so glad that even President Muhammadu Buhari has also faulted INEC and um, made reasons for his own um, assertion. Watch the video, and when we come back, I will analyze a little bit on this particular um, video and on what President Muhammadu Buhari said. I was really excited that President Buhari has backtracked from his initial comments about the elections, which were, everything went peacefully. There were no irregularities. Nobody died. My God. I'm happy he has backtracked from that. In this statement, what he said was that there were irregularities alleged by people and the way to go is the court. We are in a democratic dispensation and we are back to democracy, democratic rules since 1999. We've had like seven iterations of election cycle. We will abide by the court. But in abiding by the court, Nigerians are also calling on the judiciary to stand tall. In recent times, people have lost confidence in the judiciary. And people are taken aback. And the judiciary too has not re-established that level of confidence. We all saw here when the Supreme Court was reacting and abusing in Nigeria for writing articles about how it feels about the Supreme Court judgments. Which the Supreme Court should never do. So I think most importantly, the eyes of the people are on the Supreme Court judges as this case pan out. And the truth has to be told, Nigerians will look at you critically. And whatever you do in the determination of this will deepen or destroy democracy in this country. And that's why a lot of Nigerians are imploring you that please do the best you can for the country in accordance with the law. No pressure. Because anybody that is right thinking about Nigeria should know that when all those countries say things about Nigeria with their media outlets, the Economist, the Times and the likes, it feeds back to the way and the perception an average Nigerian citizen is treated. So the next government has to repair that image. And how do we repair the image? We repair the image with justice and integrity. All right, welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is still Nation's Voice Tower, your favorite YouTube channel. You heard it all from Oseni Rufai there. Of course, from his statement, you would know um, that uh, President Muhammad Buhari uh, really faulted INEC as to uh, the reasons why uh, he made statements such as, of course, the uh, INEC uh, ele the elections for the pre presidential elections lacked irregularities, according to President Muhammad Buhari. That means that um, the president of the country has come out to really admit that INEC failed in her duties to deliver uh, credible, free and fair elections to the citizens of the country, Nigeria, all right? And that's very, very mind-blowing because um, INEC is supposed to be the general umpire that really ticks the boxes of any, uh, general, any uh, independent body that can really tell um, who is victorious in an election, especially when it comes to a democratic system like Nigeria. Nigeria's uh, own umpire is called INEC, and INEC has really failed its people according to what Nigerians who held over time and according to what Nigerians have in mind as regards the presidential elections. Now, let us quickly look at this. Nigeria is a democratic country. Nigeria is a country that practices democracy to its peak, okay? And uh, of course, when you look at Nigeria's constitution, you would know that it also gives room for the masses to air their own views. 
what am I trying to say? Analytically, you would know that whatever INEC um, brought forth to Nigerians as a result of the elections uh, or tends to point at the wrong way because um, a lot of um, parastatals, uh, sorry, a lot of, co a, a lot of com communities have come out to point out um, that uh, at the fact that INEC really went uh, at, or were at fault at producing such a result, although a new result is uh, yet to be announced as the case is still in court, of course, but that really doesn't mean that INEC didn't really do um, the wrong thing. INEC went wrong in one or two ways, especially by not following the electoral, uh, the guidelines that, are speci that were specified in the Electoral Act. Now, Nigeria being a democratic country, there is a need for the people to really choose their leader themselves. And um, how is this being done? This is done by voting. Voting means um, a, a situation where all uh, citizens come out to exercise their franchise, their right to pick a leader for themselves. And this leader is usually picked by um, selecting the, the candidate who has the highest number of votes amongst all contesting political parties. Now, from what President Mohamed Buhari said in that particular um, speech or in that particular interview, you will know that President Mohamed Buhari has really faulted INEC. But the issue is this. Where are we now? Where are we in uh, the issues or in the problem that, uh, amidst the problem that INEC have really uh, brought to our tables this time around? Well, the case is in court as regards um, the presidential results. Uh, Peter will be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, and then um, INEC uh, and APC2, that's the All Progressive Congress, are dragging it and slugging it out in court. Now, um, the problem remains this. Do people trust the judiciary? Do people really trust the judiciary? And how much can the judiciary gain the confidence and faith of Nigerians? How far can the judiciary go to um, establish a form of um, free uh, and fair judgment in this particular case? How far the, can the judiciary go in administering justice in this particular issue or in this particular political era that we find ourselves in? Nigeria here. All right. So that is the question on the lips of every Nigerian. And we hope that, of course, the judiciary should uh, really come up and uh, stay top and float atop the water, stand on the fence and really make um, the mandate or return the mandate to whoever was actually the winner of the 25th, uh, Saturday, 25th February presidential elections that was conducted. All right. That is that about um, that particular video. I have another one for you. This is coming from the chairman, the national chairman of the Labour Party. Um, the national chairman, Mr. Abure, has uh, come out to really uh, vent his anger on the fact that he has never doubted the confidence of the judiciary. But with the way things are going, he is beginning to doubt if the judiciary can really uh, deliver judgment or administer justice as regards the pending case of the return of the mandate uh, pertaining the uh, results of the elections all right now um, in this video i would like you to watch first when you watch when you when we are back or when we come back we'll check and talk about this particular video watch mr aburi the national chairman of the labor party it's pertinent to put on record that i have always in all my interviews go and check express confidence in imec but their behavior and the manner and the way in which they handled the last election have destroyed the confidence completely, which I have in INEC. And I want to say that since though that order was made, that we should be given the opportunity to inspect uh, election materials. Uh, the INEC have not allowed us access till now. We've not been able to inspect materials. Our lawyers have been going there on a daily basis. Our technical experts have been going there. Okay, that was uh, Mr. Julius Aburi, the national chairman of the Labour Party. He said there that he hasn't really doubted the judiciary for once. And as a, as a matter of fact, he has watched over time, he has watched the judiciary deliver judgment in different political cases. And he is not doubting uh, the judiciary, but with the way things are going, he is beginning to uh, cast some sort of uh, doubt on, on the judiciary. That is not the only thing he said. Very, very most importantly, uh, Mr. Julius Abure, 
said that after the court injunction or after the court um, gave a decree that INEC should give permission to Peter will be his principal and then the PDP that is um, Atiku Aubakar, the presidential candidate of the PDP to inspect the beavers uh, as well as other electoral materials that were used for the presidential uh, elections on 25th Fe uh, February 2023. INEC is yet to adhere to that order and this is very this is quite very disturbing to him and um, uh, their legal team of course he retreated there that their legal team has been in INEC office for more than um, two, two times now or a, a number of times now and nobody has been granted permission to have access to these electronic materials or these electoral uh, materials that were used for the presidential elections he said their uh, ICT team too have uh, counted or have um, embarked on number of numbers of visits to the INEC office and um, yet INEC is yet to really grant permission for them to have uh, due access to these electoral materials this is sad because this is barely three days after the judgment or the, or, or the judgment was delivered on the fact that INEC should allow these parties to uh, have access to their materials and to to make sure Labour Party and PDP are present while they are reconfiguring these beavers, okay? So that is that. This is very disturbing for we Nigerians and for um, everybody who is involved in this, directly or indirectly. But I will all just all to keep our fingers crossed and let's watch where the judiciary will take us. All our hopes and all our, our developmental uh, hopes and all uh, faith that we have in the judiciary stands on the fact that if the judiciary will be able to deliver a case on this, a, a very good judgment on this or not, all eyes are on the judiciary, all hands are pointed to the judiciary, and all leaning hearts are leaning to the stakes of the judiciary. Let's see how far they can go to save our country. Let's see how far the judiciary can go to make us happy again. That is that from Nation's Voice Tower. I hope you always stay glued to Nation's Voice Tower for more political updates. I would urge you to um, always like our videos, share it, and or make sure you subscribe to this particular YouTube channel because um, that is the criteria YouTube uses to um, share and um, recommend our videos to people in Nigeria and all over the world. Thank you for listening to us and thank you for joining us. From me here is Peace Out.